Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be filming an accessory haul for y'all and the first thing I want to do is apologize for my lighting. I've been trying to get it right but the room that I want to film in is currently being painted so just bear with me on the lighting and if you guys can't see this one that well just leave me a comment and I'll refilm it. Um, but a couple weeks ago I was having a horrible week and the thing that makes me feel better is shopping so I picked up some accessories and I'm gonna share them with y'all and I have like let's see a couple pair of shoes and a bonus pair so two pairs of shoes and a bonus pair and I also have um, a necklace and a scarf and a bag so I'm gonna share those things with you guys now and oh and one super exciting thing for me I can't wait I've been wait to, waiting to open it up on film on camera so Let's see. Let's start with the shoes. So, um, this first pair of shoes is from, um, it's a company I think everybody's familiar with. We used to have one here, but now we have just an outlet and it's, um, Nine West. And so this is kind of like a cheap item for me because I already own this item. I already own these booties. Um, I bought them this winter this fall winter a friend of mine a girlfriend of mine we were in the in the outlet and it was like buy one pair of shoes get another one 50 percent off so i bought this shoe because i was looking for a cute booty it's kind of western inspired and i actually think this is from the um yeah it's from the nine west vintage america collection and i don't think you can see the bottom of there because it that well you can kind of there it tells you the stamp is on the bottom about the vintage america line and it's just a really cute comfortable booty and i bought another pair because i walked these like i was walking to heaven like seriously I, this part of my boot was coming off and it just snaps back in and i'm gonna have to take it to um the shoe guy um when i get time to get him to go ahead and just fix it for me it, it doesn't affect the way that it walks or anything but i just want to get that fixed on it and now i have the second pair and these probably won't i probably won't be waiting until next um fall or winter to wear these i think these are a cute booty for um going to festivals because you're out there and you want something comfortable that you can walk in and stand in for a long time and these are very comfortable um but they have a little bit of heel so they, you know they're still classy and um they just zip on the side just a zip down boot and so I, I love these and then also the toe is now so you're not worried about people stepping on your toes and you know stepping in like spilled drinks and stuff like that at concerts so i probably will wear these this spring summer um and while i get my other pair repaired <laughs> So these are a cute, cute boot. And let me see if it says on the box what this is called. This is called the Sobao, I guess it is. It's S-O-B-A-O. -O, and this is in black. And it also came in brown. And I got these on clearance yet again because I think they were like $35. And it was, again, buy, 50, buy one shoe, get 50% off another shoe in the store. So I was like, well, there's nothing else I really like. So this is the bonus pair of shoes I was talking about. You know, you go places and you're wearing your really cute shoes, but they're not the most comfortable shoes and you want something to change into. So I got these little um, ballet flats and I've actually already worn these to a wedding. I was wearing my cute shoes and I knew they were going to make them all night. So on the way back, um, I, I slipped these on. And um, these are just, these were $10 um, because they were on sale for 20 and I got the 50% off of the cheapest pair. And that was these. So I just paid 10 bucks for these and these are called the smart mobile i guess one smart mobile and these are nine and a half also and i probably wouldn't wear these on like the day they basically just by themselves i'm not that um excited about the fit of them because i mean they spread and i i don't know they're just not my classic ballet shoe for me to wear on my day-to-day -day basis so but they're really cute for their purpose okay and so now this next pair of shoes i'm so excited about um, when I got them, I put them on and I didn't want to take them off. Like I was in the bed with my feet hanging over the edge of the bed because I was just like that excited about them and I didn't want to take them off. So the reason I got these shoes were must because all went along, I saw tons of girls there. Like it was like the next best thing to the UGG phenomenon 
I saw all these girls wearing um, these flat suede boots with like three layers of fringe on them. And so I was like, they're cute, but I just don't know how practical they are for me because when I wear my shoes, I wear my shoes. Like I buy shoes that I can take into the cobbler to have them repaired. And so um, I wasn't sure how much those cost, you know, but I didn't think they had a hard sole to them. And, they, and I could be mistaken, some of them may. And I just like the fringe action on it. I was like, that's so cute when you walk in, the fringes are like going. And then I saw that Beyonce video. Um, God, what was it? I think it's Partitions. I'm not sure when she's in the club and she's dancing on the pole and her fringes are just going on her boots. And so I was just really into the little fringe little thing right there. And so I decided to um, go check the website out and see what they had. And the um, name of the company is called, and I may be butchering this, but Minnetonka is the name of the boot company. And they have tons of cute stuff on there. But the thing that I was really excited about, and these are going to be my go-to spring shoes, um, are these little fringe booties. They are so cute. Um, they're, you know, it's all suede. And I got the ones, you have a choice to get them with the soft bottom or the hard sole. I got the hard sole because just paving the concrete, like city life, I just don't see it for the ones without the hard sole. And it was only like a $10 difference. These boots were really affordable. They feel really good on. They're really cute. And the company is really easy to work with. And I say that because the first time I ordered these, I ordered a nine and a half. And because they're suede, you know, they don't have a lot of structure to them, even though I got the hard sole. I can't, again, I can't imagine what without the hard sole is like. But because I got the hard sole, I thought that they would be a little bit more structured, but they aren't. And so when I put my foot in here, you know, it's just kind of huh, flattened out. And I have about that much extra space in my foot bed, in my toe bed, rather. And so I just decided to go ahead and get, um, a nine and what I really liked about this company was the fact that I could exchange the shoe and I didn't have to just return the shoe because most companies when you um, do an exchange you have to send it back and hope to have the other one reorder and then your money's tied up in one shoe and so I just sent this back put it in the box went to their site print it off what I needed to print off and you know within a week I had this pair of shoes back and so these are my new babies. I love them. And they are the classic fringe heart sole boot. And it's in brown. So that's the name of them. And I end up with a size nine. And I do usually wear a nine and a half. So I'm excited about these. So that shoe is what prompted me to want um, a bag to wear with it this summer. Because I plan on going to a lot of um, food festivals so that I can blog and... Um, a lot of art festivals and stuff like that and so I just wanted something cute and different and so I was like okay I need to get a bucket bag um a crossbody bucket bag so I go online and I'm googling and um it's I couldn't find one and then now that I think about it, it's probably a good thing because a fringe bucket bag and the fringe shoes was probably overkill um probably way too dramatic <laughs> but um and that's a tendency of mine but I did come across a bucket bag and I was looking for a tan or a brown to match the shoes but when I came across this one it was on a website called Saturday and it was a um a branch of Kate Spade it was one of the Kate Spade brands and they had um, a small bucket bag and it came in like a blue a black a gray and a red and so when I went on there um, I was like, well, it's not exactly what I'm looking for, but I think it's a cute bag, especially at this price. Because I went on there, initially it was like $130 and 40% off, and then it kept going down to like 50% off. By the time I got the 50% off, there weren't any bags left. Um, I did get mine on the sale for the 50% off, and uh, it was just my fault because I didn't necessarily get the color I wanted. I kept going back and forth between what color I wanted, what color I didn't want, and so that was, again, on me what color bag I wanted so I ended up though getting this cute gray one and I, when I was reading the comments everybody was like it's too small it's too small right now um in my day-to-day -day life I'm carrying the Philip Lamb mini Pashley and so I need a small bag if not I'm gonna try to put my whole life in there and so it's important that I get a small bag so that I'm not trying to get 
um, everything in everything the kitchen sink in here. So I like the bag a lot. It's cute. It's all leather. They have um, a one year leather warranty on a warranty on the leather bags where you can send it in if you have any kind of issues with it and they'll repair it. Um, inside there is this super cute black and white print and then there is one pocket. Um, and there's uh, the straps are pretty long. And um, I'm a plus size girl, so I move my um, my straps all the way down to the last level so that I can make sure that my bag hit like at my hip. Now here's the only problem. As a blogger, I use my iPad to take most of my pictures. And I have a iPad mini. And so, and I can't find it right now. I have an iPad mini, so here's my mini. And when I put it in the bag, it doesn't fit. I mean, it fits, but it doesn't fit. It takes away from the cuteness of the shape of the bucket bag. So, um... I probably won't be, you know, blogging, which is good. Sometimes I need a break. So I wish it was a smidget bigger, but it's really perfect. Like it really is. And it's soft leather. It has the leather drawstring to it to cinch it. Um, these are plastic, the hardware, which I'm finding a lot on. Even my Philip Lamb bag has plastic on it for the hardware. And then it has that cute little Kate Spades Saturday stamp at the bottom smooth on the bottom and kind of a black piping to it um and actually I don't think it's black I think well yeah it is black so a black piping around it and so I love this bag it's super cute I'll be using that a lot this spring and summer and the reason why I didn't get the black bag that I wanted is because I was too busy trying to figure out what necklace to get and so I went back to my cart shoop, um the black bag was gone but I did get this super cute necklace. I love this necklace. I've worn it already. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. And they're all wooden beads. And the bottom part of the beads, some of the beads are covered in this black and white fabric. And then it has these gold, you can see the gold clasps in the centers of them. Um, and then it, my favorite part of it is the necklace closure part and it's this black and white fabric and you can untie it and tie it in a bow tie one arm one end longer than the other or however you want to wear it and so i absolutely love this now um they had another one of these on here on the um site and it was in these bright colors and i was like oh i really want that so me and my procrastination i See, you know, it says, oh, 60% off now. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get it in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I get an email from um, the website in Saturday. And it says, thanks for being a part of Saturday. Um, Saturday is now closed. And so I was thinking, oh, well, this must be some kind of pop-up site. And they revamp and they'll bring back like a different line for the next six months. No, it's closed altogether. I did a little research and K-Spade has decided to close the Saturday line and also, um, their Jack Spade for men, they're only going to have it online now. It won't have a standalone store anymore. So, unfortunately, I'm showing you these items, but probably the only way you're going to get your hands on them is on eBay. And I'm really kind of mad at myself because I didn't get, you know, the second necklace. And I totally should have gotten it. But this is super cute, nevertheless, and I'm happy with my purchase, so... And it, it went down to 50% off. So this necklace was like $25 because I think it was originally $50. And then it went on again for 60% off. And of course, I missed it that time. Okay, so I'm down to like my next two, last two items. And this next item, um, I really, I'm really into wearing scarves, especially going to work. You know, I like to have like a statement piece on. And um, my parents are really sweet. They always get me these Talbots gift cards and I buy a lot of my... Um, work clothes from Talbots and so this time I went in I bought some clothes and I'm not going to show them on this haul I may do a spring clothing haul or work spring work clothing haul later on but I bought a lot of basic stuff anyway but here is um the scarf that I found and I love it it's a pretty kelly green and a black and white paisley in the center I'm personally like silk scarves but it's been really hard to find affordable silk scars lately. So, um, I like this one. I like the pattern. It gets the job done. I've tied a knot here on the end and basically made it into an affinity. Oh, can I get it over my pom-pom? 
and made it into my own infinity scarf so and it's lightweight so it's perfect for the spring summer months to just put on with a dress or a t-shirt and dress it up and last but not least I have been waiting to open this. I am newly addicted to Starbucks. Yes, newly. I know I'm late to the train. I used to only get um, white hot chocolates. And now um, my favorite drink is my white mocha frappuccino with a pump of toffee nut. And instead of milk, I have my made with heavy cream. And then I get whipped cream on top and a caramel drizzle. It is awesome. It is not good for me to be having one of these every single morning, but I love them. Um, Starbucks is not paying me to say this. I do have a good friend who works for Starbucks. Um, but I'm so excited about this. Um, I got this in the mail the other day. And I don't know if you can see that. And it says rewards. That's right. I'm opening it now. And I'm so excited about it. My newest accessory. Um, it says congratulations on it. Super excited about this. Uh, I am a new go kart holder member of Starbucks. And oh, it has my name on the card. It says how long I've been a cart um holder. And yeah, I'm so excited to use my car, even though I don't need to be, but I'm going to treat myself at least once a week. So I'm super excited about that. And that's all I have for this haul. And if you have any questions or if you want to see other hauls from me, comment over there below, <laughs> depending on how you're holding your iPad. Um, comment and let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. I'm super excited to do these hauls and do these videos. And next time, I'm going to try to talk a little bit less. <sighs>